I know most of us like to eat fish, even if it's just fried fish, fish and chips. And this is important because these microplastics are tiny fragments. And though we may not see them in our fishes, they do have the ability to accumulate inside of our food. We're already seeing that microplastics are being found in everywhere, from our food, our water, our soil, and even in our bloodstreams. And this is the reason why there is a current environmental crisis for tackling microplastics. So this study actually looked at some of the commercial species that we have in Guyana. We looked specifically at three commercial species, are the commonly, what you commonly known as banga, catfish, and butterfish. So what we did was that we collected samples from three landing sites in Guyana, and these sites are in three different administrative regions. So we have Raiden Hoop, uh, we have Medbank, and we also have Rosignol, where the samples were collected. Now, once the samples were collected, um, the analysis was done in the lab. These species were dissected. The organs, they were removed. They were washed with um, water, and they were sieved for the particles that were present inside of these fishes. Once they were sieved, these, the, uh, whatever was sieved, the um, sediments were retained, and these were examined under a light microscope for us to identify some of the characteristics of these plastics. Now, what did we find? In terms of the different species, we found that the catfish had the highest abundance of microplastics. It, is actually, it actually had, of, uh, of all the plastics that we've accumulated, over 70% were actually found inside of the catfish. These uh, findings are very significant because it is showing us that yes, there are microplastics in fishes, um, and if it is that we aren't cleaning these fishes properly, you know, some persons might just uh, make a broth, they might boil, uh, boil these just like that without cleaning them properly, we can be exposed to contamination. And it also, um, they might be, because we cannot, we haven't proven that as yet, uh, whether these have accumulated into the tissues which we might be feeding on, and we could potentially be ingesting these plastics which also have many health risks for us as humans.